into the studio. Well, <laughs> I was going to say uh, Paul Chandler, Shah Yeti, and uh, have you done your nails tonight? Uh, I then? Yes, what's I going have, on yes. here then? Uh, well, you know, you'll have to watch the YouTube video to see what's going on in this bit. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to describe I, it. Uh, I've got a well. I'm going to read a poem about a bear in a minute. So I've got I've got a a bear hat. Um, I've, I've got a, a hairy vampire. Oh well, well werewolf hand. It's not my own, it really isn't. The but, nails look really nice. Yeah, so. but, you know, this, is for, this is for the purposes of the YouTube video. You see. Um, would you like me to read my bear poem? <laughs> if you would have oh, okay, <laughs> um, Rhymes bears steel pies for. Rhymes bears steel pies for have got to be good. Not second-hand ditties you'd swap if you could. Not flimsy constructions that don't make you growl. Or comic creations that don't make you howl. Rhymes bears steel pies for have got to be funny, even better than cream scones and better than honey. Rhymes bears steel pies for must smell fresh as a daisy. They must never be dull. They must always be crazy. There's no two ways about it. The verse must surely excel and must come neatly wrapped in a crisp, crunchy shell. Rhymes bears steel pies for must really be cunning and cryptic and clever and supremely stunning. Rhymes bear steel pies for must never be sickly. They should always be savoured, not gobbled up quickly. They should tell of adventure, telling tales from the heart, of an end and a middle, yes, and also a start. Rhymes bear steel pies for should not dwell on defeat, never dwindle nor tarnish nor go off in the heat. Rhymes bear steel pies for are frequently merry, come splendidly garnished, always served with a cherry, always buffed up to shine, yes, and beautifully made, under a cocktail umbrella, always kept in the shade. Rhymes bear steel pies for, oh, they should never deceive. Yes, they gotta be badly good to cause a bear to go thief. This is called A Little Mouse. He is just a little mouse, you won't hear him because you're talking. Whilst you gossip about your day around your parlour shelves, he's walking. He is taking in the sights as all the goodies lay in waiting. What he plans to have for lunch he is already contemplating. The wide variety on offer makes his tail dance the lambada. It's been a long time since he smiled, today he's finding it less harder. Then he gives out a little hoot, for it is time now to rejoice. His nectar amaretto, oh my, so overwhelmed by choice. He is just a little mouse. You won't hear him because you're yawning. You're about to nod right off and then your fridge is his till morning. Whilst your mind is on something else, that mouse is busy just exploring. He's found his way and into your food and through your tea is quickly gnawing. He plays the eggs as if they're drums, rather than use, rather that than use them bowling. Your streaky bacon's his guitar, he's into squeaky rock and rolling. He gives out a squeal of joy because he's happier than Larry. For he has found your fresh cream cakes, he'll wolf some down, the rest he'll carry. He is just a little mouse. You won't hear him because you're sleeping, or because you're watching soppy films, and yes, are far too busy weeping. Whilst your pillow holds, holds your head and you're enjoying simply resting, in your home-baked panettone, this little mouse is busy nesting. He is skating on a trifle that is waiting decoration, and next he's feasting on your cheddar like it's rodent medication. He gives out a little yelp because he's seen your gorgonzola. He'll soon be gorging that as well while slurping back your cherry cola. He is just a little mouse. You won't hear him because you're shouting. Because you found your larder empty and the kitchen tensions mounting. He has stripped the Sunday joint and all the roasties you were hoarding. You need to get yourself a cat to catch all pests that may be boarding. Mouse ate all your favourite grub and all those treats you had been saving. You just spotted him in stitches up the curtain, rudely waving. He gave out a little laugh. He thinks it's quite a jolly wheeze. But as you build yourself a better mousetrap, he is long gone. A real... Big cheese. Um, this is a new poem that I literally finished this morning. So this is, well, we'll see. It's about the British summertime. Um, so here we go. British summertime is here. British summertime is here, the wind is in the trees, there's mist upon the ocean, there's raindrops in the breeze. The ducks have their umbrellas out, the swans are swanning off, all the scarecrows caught pneumonia, or at least a nagging cough. There's a chance of sleep this evening, so you'll need to wear a coat. There's a flood forecast for Friday, so I'd buy yourself a boat. Summertime's hard to predict what weather may arise. 
Any chance of warmth? Unlikely. But could, could we cope with such surprise? British summertime is here. The grass is frozen solid. The birds are skating on the ice, but they're looking slightly squalid. All the garden gnomes are striking. They'll emigrate to cosy climes. All the goldfish look so glum. They're harking back to finer times. To days when summer holidays guaranteed a little fun. And lotion was applied to give protection from the sun. Now summertime's hard to predict. What weather be occurring? If the clouds begin to swirl, then a tsunami may be stirring. British summertime is here, and so is hail and thunder. Fish and chips and mushy peas bus stops to shelter under. The puddles grow, the tourists scream, the sun, their sun hats have gone floppy. Down on the farm, knee deep in mud, even the pigs are getting stroppy. Those on the beach get washed away and floated out to sea. They lost all their belongings and the gulls ate their cream tea. Summertime's just a non-starter. Will the weather find its feet? You're going to have to wait till winter to earn yourself a little heat. British summertime is here. There's a blizzard round the corner. We are not too keen about it and nor's the flora and the fauna. We just like a little sunshine just to have a little bask. Just to get ourselves a tan. I mean, is it much too much to ask? For the rain to just stop falling? For the fog to just dissolve? Why can't the weather get it right for once? Why can't the seasons just evolve? Summertime's quite hard to gauge. Just get out there, don't delay. You're either hot or freezing cold. Have a happy holiday. And that was written this morning, is it? Uh, yeah, on the bus yesterday and on the train finishing off this morning, yes. My so. goodness me. Um, uh, and you just wrote it? I, well, I guess it's... it's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's I, haven't, I haven't typed it yet, it's so new. It's just written My in goodness, a note. but there aren't um, any sort of crossings out. Uh, well, this, 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 there was originally, yeah. This is... Believe it, yeah, because I, I, I kind of juggled, juggled lines around and, and uh, yeah, as I say, it's still a first draft, but it will go in one of my books. And, um, Wonderful. Well, we yeah. feel um, very privileged yes, to yes. hear it first. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
I'm really feeling hopping mad. I could well squash them by mistake. I do not think they'd really like that, but it's the way it could well be. Should I raise my voice a little, then those fleas are going to flee. No, I won't be staying long now. Bid them, them all to rah. Let this be their final fling, let this be their last hurrah. If they bite folk at a party, fleas must learn there'll be a catch. So once I've crushed them into nothing, I'm left in peace to simply scratch. <laughs> Wonderful. Paul, thank you very much for the show, Yeti. And um, once again, how can we get hold of your poems? Um, well, the, the videos are on YouTube are uh, under Mr. Shayeti, the profile Mr. Shayeti, and my website is www.shayeti.com. My books on www.lulu.com. Um, so yes, those are the different places. Thank you very much, and we shall see you next time. Thank you. See you again. And thank you to you as well for listening. This has been Tim Mitchell. I shall speak to you very soon. Have a great rest of the Jubilee weekend and speak soon. Bye.